Well, hello there, people within the night, and hello again, I'm the MLD. welcome to part 27, I think, of my Road to the World Let's Play campaign as Parthia. Um, I can't remember what happened in the previous episodes. Oh yeah, I, I do, I think, because I believe we fought the Romans in the previous episodes. No, we, no, we fought the Greeks in the previous episode, that's what we did. We fought the Romans in the episode before that. Well, the reason why I'm not so sure is because, um, everything... All the previous episodes that you saw before this, I recorded all of them in 2020. But right before Army Lustrium happened, so right before the 19th of October. And today it is the 21st of April, and it is the very first time that I am back on this campaign. So since the 18th of October, or... Um, Yeah, since the 8th of October, actually, I haven't touched this campaign. This is the first time that I'm playing it again. And as I said, right now, the day I'm recording this, it's the 21st of April. So, yeah, it's been quite a while. Uh, also, I've changed a bit some settings, because normally in the in Total War you have to use the arrow keys to move. But now I've changed them to WASD, so hopefully that'll be a bit easier. And hopefully I won't forget. <laughs> But yeah, if I remember correctly, the previous episodes, which, well, again, for you guys, it was last week, but for me, it was uh, like almost half a year ago. Um, in the previous episodes, we defeated the Greeks here because they declared war on me for no reason, if I remember correctly. And the episode before that, we defeated the Brutia for the first time. Okay, so before I go, I first have to, of course, take a look at how things are going because, again, I it has been ages since I played last, so I have to check what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, I'm building another army here. This army is pretty much done after these two horse archers get in. So I will move it to there. This guy is here for retraining, by the looks of it. Oh yeah, yeah, he's there for retraining and I'm training some cataphracts. Okay, and then he can continue. This guy is also going to go there to Asia Minor to get rid of the Brucei. This guy has... Oh, that's the army of my faction leader, I believe. And this... The faction leader died, so this is the new general. And he is here to... Yeah, to upgrade his stuff, to receive... Cataphracts and horse archers. Yeah, the, oh yeah, the horse archers are coming from here. Okay, okay, okay. And then, yeah, there's this army, which is already done, and they're going to beat the Skipii. Ah, look at that. Skipii are coming over to me. Okay, this is all pre Marian stuff. There are some Principes in there, but nothing too dangerous. Okay, oh, they've got Arcani. These guys. The secret ones is literally what Arcani means in Latin. They are Roman secret service. There are very few records of them, but there is a chance that they actually did exist. Because some inscriptions have been found. Okay, so Arcani and Triarii. But that's about it. And then at least some Wellites in there. Okay, so the Skipii are coming over. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure Rhodes is also owned by the, by the Brutii. So yeah, uh, first this guy is going to go here to beat this guy and conquer uh, Pergamum. And then they're going to kick the uh, Brutii of uh, Asia Minor out of Halicarnassus. And then we're island hopping first to Rhodes, then to Crete, and then we are... Oh yeah, this is still owned by the Macedonians. Wasn't I training a... Yeah, there he is. I was about to say. Because I wanted to ask the Macedonians for an alliance, even though we were at war with the Macedonians. But I kind of want the Brutii to be distracted, so I kind of want the Macedonians to declare war on the Romans. Britain diplomats and the Germanic diplomats. Yeah, there's a port there, so this guy... How old is he? 43, okay. What, what, what the hell? Was he tasteless? Oh, tactless, I was about to say. Minus one influence. Increase the chances of that negotiations will fail. 
And plus one, improves negotiation skills. Okay, so his negotiation is plus one in general. <laughs> because he loses one, gains one more there, and then he gains one extra, so... There's a slightly bigger chance that they will work. Okay. So yeah, this guy is first beating him, taking Pergamon, and then we're kicking the Brute's Eye off. And in the meantime, this army will come over, and then that army will come over. Oh yeah, we're also... Okay, yeah, these guys are besieging us here. I've got a spy in here. And I've got some regular archers and some mercenaries, but... One turn. If we take this before they take that, then we can uh, wipe out the faction before anything, because this is still owned by Dacia. That's owned by Germania, and this is still rebel territory. Yeah. I put a border, yeah. The Amazonians are over there, but we're not going there anytime soon. And I'm hoping that this is still rebel. There is some here. They, they did try to conquer it, but I believe I checked it out, and I think that I believe it was still rebel. That's a Senate diplomat. Why is there so much stuff here? Oh, I'm oh, because of this. Yeah, stop. Do train some of that because we may be able to send them here to help lift the siege. It will take you three turns to get there. Actually, I'll send you guys over anyway because this is not a lot. So, and then along with these guys that are in here, we might be. I think we'll be able to beat that. Oh crap! I did not want to do that. I wanted to... Except that we will attack, give us 119 in army. Yeah, we're already at war, Senate, so no way. I kind of... I wanted to click this button, but I misclicked, but okay. All my armies had moved anyway, so that doesn't really matter. So yeah, we're at war with all the Romans, and then the Scythians and the Greeks. But the Scythians and the Greeks are very going to be gone very soon, because they both only have one settlement left. And I wanted to verify that by looking at this. Scythians and the Greeks. Yeah, militarily, I'm way stronger. Yeah, they both only have one territory left. So, that's nothing. And then we'll... Yeah, okay, we won't be encountering the Julii anytime soon. The Brutii only have eight settlements. They've had, they've had eight settlements for quite a while, actually. Scipii... 10 settlements and then the <laughs> and the julia i have nine settlements nice okay financially yeah the julia are rich beyond belief look at how poor they are if we beat back a few armies and conquer some stuff they're pretty much bankrupt the julia are the ones that we should worry about we are yeah we have the most population of the romans Overall, we are stronger than all three families. Yeah, and the Senate, but of course, you know. The Senate, is, the Senate is just one territory. You don't have to worry about them. Militarily, the Scipii are way stronger. And yeah, look at that. That's where I beat the Brutii. I brought them down to my level. And I'm at the same level as the Julii. Okay. Let's check this. Okay, Macedon declared war on Dacia. Okay. That sucks a little bit because if, you know, if Macedon has less wars, then there's a bigger chance that they'll declare war on the Romans. 16. Careful with money, command, talent, hardness, ruler, confident, attacker, strict governor. Plus one to unrest, but plus two to law. This is a very good governor. Look at how much management this guy has. Understanding of mathematics. He's 16, but he looks like he's already in his 30s, but okay. He is in Antioch. Uh, I guess I'll send him this way. Out of moves, Lord. And then for the rest, it's just a whole bunch of retinue, expense, and stuff like that. The Egyptians have made colored glass for many years. The Carthaginians have perfected a method of making clear glass. Well, that's awesome, but the, the Carthaginians are... Pretty much dead. Are they alive, actually, still? Or are they already dead? Uh, 
living factory. Yeah, they're still alive. They must only have Corduba left in uh, Iberia. Yeah, the only factions that are not here anymore are Armenia, Egypt, the Seleucid Empire, Pontus, and Thrace. <laughs> and four of those are because of me. <laughs> there are five factions that are dead, and four of them have been killed by me. <laughs> Egypt was because of me, the Seleucid Empire is because of me, Armenia was because of me, and then Pontus was because of me. The only one that I had nothing to do with was Thrace, <laughs> but that was Dacia's doing. And soon we'll be adding the Scythians to that list of dead enemies. <laughs> so look at everybody's like pretty close, and then I'm just like out of their league. <laughs> okay, did the Romans do anything? No. Okay. Sire! I got three family members in here as well. Okay, there's another army there. That's the faction heir. That's the faction leader. Oh, I kind of hope. Okay, I can train infantry here. That's good. Prepare yeah. I was afraid that it was going to happen. Um, yeah, these guys are the cheapest, so I'll just hire them. I just need them to operate siege, uh, siege towers. <laughs> yeah, just that, that is what left, was left of that other army that I destroyed, I guess. Temple of Hermes. Okay. Yeah, there are just some uh, Thracian mercenaries in here. Okay, uh, let's do a bit of building. Uh, public order is important, so temple. We don't need the temple here. We can't build a temple. I, mean, I meant this actually, but you know, because this gives law. But we don't have any issues with law in Jerusalem. We can even tax it a bit higher than before. Elite cavalry stables. We just have regular cavalry stables. Uh, but I won't be training here for him from here for a while, so I'll build a market instead. Bostra can't build anything. Petra can't build anything either. Stuff is being built here. Um, what are we going to build in Thebes? We just only have a wooden palisade in here, but okay. We already have an academy. A bazaar. Yeah, we, the dockyard is useless because it connects to the Red Sea and not the Mediterranean. We could do mines. No, actually, no. Let's get just to get the public order or the corruption down, I mean. Execution square. Siwa is building something. Cyrene is building something. Okay, so yeah, can we... Mighty General. We might be able to hit him. Oh no, hang on, the other army should still be there, right? Yeah, there it is. So we will fight this, Captain Mar hey, Marcus, and then Captain Caius. Okay, well. I, great Lord. Persian fleet over there. Oh, there's also this army in here. My I didn't even so know. March. And we can leave. Good, I'll train one extra unit. Order. I'm actually gonna hop you onto the boats. Ships ready. Ships ready. And I'm going to seal you straight past, and we're going to drop you there. Right next to, uh, what the hell is it called? Leptis Magna. And then you can take it straight away. Hopefully. <laughs> if there are mercenary infantry uh, guys available. Right, Ankira. Yeah, well, we can demolish stuff and replace that, but not necessary. Okay, here. Mazaka. Uh, public order is actually pretty good. So we'll leave the temple for now and I'll build some crop rotation. Okay, you need to get in there. And then we retrain everybody. There we go. Code size. Um, we need some public order because the public order is pretty bad. So, academy for law, which also reduces corruption. Artaxarta, better temple. 
Vraspa still hasn't expanded. Arsakia is still building something. So is Seleucia and Susa. Are Seleucia and Susa. That's fine. Hatra. Um, I'll build that market so that the Greek trader will go away, which will get rid of some culture. Antioch is... Oh, Antioch is already done with building stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's about to say. This is our capital. Okay, you get in. All of you. There we go. We'll just join forces with him and then we'll go here together. No, you need to... There. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, it's going to confuse me. There we go. So, this is our new army. Then this, I'm just going to drop this governor in Pergamon, probably. And then the and then this is a good general, if I remember. Yeah, look at him. He's a pretty good general, so we're going to use him to actually fight battles. Okay, let's not forget to move him. Build a fort. And then you can receive your cataphracts from here. Oh, crap. And your Persian cavalry. I'll just give you two cataphracts, actually. Because otherwise we have to wait here for too long. And then I'll send you towards the Julia... Um, skip the eye. Okay, so this is my faction leader. Where is my factionaire? It's him, the firstborn son of that guy. Okay, he's okay. He's there. He's campaigning with his father. That's good. How much population? Oh, we can't see that. Okay, so yeah, there is a chance that this guy will attack us in the back. But if he does, that would actually be preferable because then we could just take the city straight away. Okay. So, now we'll do our first battle of 2021. Here, uh, a large Scipio force. It has a lot of Hostati, some Principes, Principes, Cavalry Auxilia, have to be careful of that. One unit of archers, which are uh, not a lot, but they are very experienced, and then some Time Watch, that's what it says. Okay, L very little cavalry, so this should not be very difficult. We just have to be careful of the cavalry auxilia and the archers. So let's absolutely annihilate them. We have longer range though, so because Persian cavalry has long uh, have long range missiles. Oh. Oh crap! Hang on. Um, I forgot how well this game listens. <laughs> if you click them in order, if I click first this one, then this one, then this one, and I group them, they also are grouped in that order. First that one, then that one, then that one. In Rome 2, they don't. It, well, you have to, you can drag the, the unit cards manually, but I kind of forgot how well the, the game listens in this game. I like how well the game listens in general. Okay, you here, you there. Do you have good stamina? No, you don't. You do have good stamina. They have less armor defense, but that's because they're not experienced. Armored East in general. But yeah, they have good stamina. That is very useful. So I'll probably use you a little bit. Um, I think we're going to split you up into two groups. I'll use them first. Oh, if they're gonna rush, then we have a bit of an issue on our hands. Okay, cavalry up there, go. With all haste! Is that the... yeah, that's the cavalry auxilia. We have to get rid of them, because they are missile cavalry. Not super strong or anything, they throw spears, but, you know, it's still missile cavalry. Units. 
Okay, they're moving Hastati up front. Along with the Equites. Okay, I'll move the Cataphracts. Game? There, yeah, I'll move them there. It's a bit of a corner, so we have to be careful. How are we doing? 14% is dead. That's Hastati? Yeah. Okay, I'll send the general here because this part of the army is very isolated from the rest. Oh, crap. Are we gonna probably... Yes, that's it. We're probably gonna lose a couple guys there. Uh, that's Hostat. Oh, no, 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 no! Run. Otherwise, they're gonna throw spears. Okay, charge the Hostati. That will be fine. Okay, cavalry auxilia. Are gone. Oh. There we go. Astati gone. The funny thing is, even if these Equites charge us and catch us, we will still easily be able to beat them. Because, you know, uh, Persian cavalry is even better than just regular Equites. Equites are very bad. And they obviously stop no chance against Cataphracts. <laughs> that was just Town Watch, okay. Charge the Principes. Wow, those Time Watch lasted a lot longer. I mean, I know they're Spearmen technically, but, you know. And that'd be due to exhaustion. Okay, there we go, broken. So let's say I almost had to send in extra Cataphracts to get rid of them. Or this completed great lords. Okay. Move out of the way because they're sending archers here against the general. Oh no, never mind, that's what it says. In that case, all of you cease fire. And you go over there. Oh they're oh have, hang on a minute, they're trying to get out. We can't allow that. They are trying to escape. 69% kills. It'll be difficult to get to... 85. Rest of you to there. Okay, the Cataphracts are destroying these guys. Uh, what are you talking about, awaiting your commands? You're not done yet. <laughs> they leveled up. Go there. Oh, 
yes. Well, one volley. That was all it took. Nice. Okay, that's just a starty. We can kill that. They're already wavering. There we go. So I'd say just touch them in the back and then that's already done. Uh, it's going to be close to catching these guys. Oh, those are the archers as well. We definitely have to kill them. Those were very experienced archers. Ah, oh, there we go. We've already killed 86. So this army is destroyed, even though the uh, even though the Equites made it out. Well, they'll have to run a bit because the, of course, the cataphracts are super slow. There we go. Continue. There we go. Cataphracts level up. That is what we want to see. If only they had good stamina, how overpowered would they be? Just like the general. Because not only does that mean that they can run faster or l for longer and stuff. It also... Where the hell are you fighting? Oh, they're bugs, aren't they? Yeah, they're finding a unit that doesn't exist anymore. Okay, you guys try to catch up with them. Okay, some... Oh, that's the time watch that made it out. Okay, well, that went pretty well. Victory is sweet indeed, and all the sweeter for being there we go. <laughs> yes, we got a couple kills. <laughs> there we go. They had over a thousand enemy guys more than me, but the entire army is destroyed. We didn't kill the captain, but. That's okay. There we go. Entire Scipii army destroyed. Sire, prepare for battle. And we only lost a handful of men. Okay, so what is this? This was another army that was coming over. Yeah, this is yeah this is the, the more dangerous army because this guy has Triarii and Arcani. My eyes are in yours. And what's in here? Nothing special. Equites, Principes, Ostati, Velites. Okay. Well, first crushing defeat for the uh, Scipii now as well. Second one for the Romans in general. It's going well. Okay, let's save it because that was a good result. And yeah, that army is on the move and we've already moved everything else. Everybody here is being retrained. So let's go. Oh yeah, I forgot to do stuff in Scythia. I keep forgetting about Scythia. Okay, so they did attack me on their own. Which is cool. They've got more cavalry, but no missile cavalry. And only one unit of missile infantry. Okay, how experienced are the Arcani? Decently experienced. But again, should not be a big problem. Again, no real general in this army either, so just the captain. All right, we did no. We definitely did not seek this war. Okay, you guys over here. Because I wanted to do, <laughs> I wanted to. I don't. I didn't want to attack the Romans straight away, but they did. Bad idea on their parts, but they'll figure it out. They'll figure that one out. <laughs> they'll figure out that it was a bad idea.
again. If they charge at us, which they are kind of doing right now. There we go. Equidays are so crap. There we go. That's already most of their cavalry gone. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to retrain them in Leptus Magna. Okay, so here is the danger part. These three RVI. That is by far the most dangerous unit on this battle. Apart from the Arcani, but, you know. Oh, here are the Arcani, these guys. But there are not that many units, not that many, not that many soldiers in this unit, so that doesn't really matter. I'm mostly, I'm mostly afraid of the tree REI, so hopefully we can get rid of them with the archers. Now I want you to focus on the tree REI. They may be more armored, but there are, because of that, they are a more high priority target. And you may also occasionally hit some Arcani. Again, it looks a very weird unit, but there's actually some historical proof that they existed, which is kind of funny. They were a Roman secret service. And some inscriptions have been found that they, that like some sort of Roman commander had to meet with the Arcani. But very little historical uh, information remains about them, which makes sense, of course. You know, if it was a secret service, of course the Romans wouldn't want to write everything down about them. And even if they did, like, they wanted to... I kind of imagine, like, um, in those kind of, like... Uh, um, uh, like Downfall, that movie about the final days of uh, Hitler in the bunker. Where, you know, the famous scene where he, he rants, which has been memefied by uh, the internet a thousand times over. But um, in that scene, in that film, I mean, oh, there we go, all the Arcanai does. In that film, there is a, a scene where the, uh, right before, uh, like right near the beginning of the movie, where they... Uh, where Hitler um, issues Clausewitz, Clausewitz, which is the uh, order to turn Berlin into a frontline city because of the, the Soviets that were too close. So, in that scene where they, they like, completely uh, empty out, they completely empty out an administrative department, or whatever it's, uh, whatever it's called, and they, like, throw all the papers out and burn all papers about... Mostly about, probably about what they've been doing to the Jews and all that type of stuff. Because, of course, they were writing everything down, but they didn't want everyone to notice about that. So all the administrative stuff was thrown out of the building. And then I kind of imagine that, like, that's how the Romans did it as well. Like, when Rome was under siege or, like, when Rome was about to fall, they, like, threw all the papers out about the Arcani and stuff so that no one would um, know about them. And, of course, just in general, a lot of historical records have been lost like, in general. And very sensitive material, such as information about a Roman secret service, there's a very slim chance that that would ever survive the test of time, of course. Okay, well, they keep moving around. Oh, hang on. The general is coming over at us. I wanted to charge him in the back, but the cataphracts. Uh, 46%. <laughs> 
They don't even fully commit to that charge either. They just kind of like walk towards me a little bit. Yeah. And that's not smart when you're being fit. When you already don't have any armor, as you can clearly see. Or very little armor. And then you're being shot at by archers. And then you're going to very slowly maneuver there. Oh, hang on. Oh, crap. The battle line's there. Jesus, game. Cooperate. Yeah, that's where you get me, don't cooperate. Okay, run them up. <laughs> they just ran over here through spears and then ru now they run back. Over half of the enemy army is already dead. Okay, we're out of ammo, but that's fine. Oh, they had another unit of Triarii. Oh, that sucks. I thought they only had one. That's why I was focusing on that one flank so much. But apparently they had another one. I never saw that one. Okay. Up the hill? We're not attacking that first, that Triarii unit. That'll be one of the last units to go. You go for them, you go for them, and you go for them. This general is the perfect enemy. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. There we go. Ah, uh, that sucks when they can still throw spears, even though we're already engaging them. Okay. Charge them. There we go. Okay, charge what's left of the Triarii over there. Okay. These Triarii are being stupid. I like that. Okay. Corner them at the battle line. Kill them. Oh, you missed. But they're not very fast either. <laughs> okay, get rid of them. You, get rid of them. And 70% is killed. We should easily make it at 85 once we kill a whole bunch of those guys. Okay, they can sit here and rest for a little bit. Because these guys are running around like idiots all the time, so they're extremely exhausted. In the meantime, you can run them down. Because you do have to move out of the way before they start throwing spears. Actually, you guys do that now. Just regroup over there. Yeah, he'll take care of them. Try those guys then, because you're being an asshole. They're all winded. Are they trying to, like, leave right now, or what's going on? Because they don't really seem to charge me. I think they're trying to withdraw. Oh, well, if that's the case, we'll just charge them. Oh, right in the sides. Back, back, back. Okay, Somastati made it. 
Okay, yeah, we can make it to 85. Yeah, no, that's tired now. Oh, you're being an idiot. There's only one unit left, and you're running around like a fucking moron. Oh yeah, they're trying to get out. Go 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 go. Half of the three REI army is already out of the three REI cohorts. <laughs> they get sucked in because they are fighting, and then they're not routing yet. So, okay, it's gonna probably sting a little bit because we have to fight the three REI. There we go. Continue. Kill as many as you can. Yeah, there we go, 94%. <laughs> Who's left? Oh yeah, that one, that one dude. Alright, well. I'm sorry, but I don't think you should be allowed to live. Your free trial of being alive has expired. Well, then again. Yeah, there we go. It has expired. Now I get a heroic victory. Yeah, there we go. Heroic victory. Only lost 41. And the entire Scipii army is destroyed. Alright, is the other army also going to give it a try? No. <laughs> Ah, and this is also what I was hoping for. These guys attacking me in the back. Wow, <laughs> they hired all the mercenaries. And then that's garbage. Okay, so yeah, we just need to kill this entirely. And then we take Pergamon. Okay, uh, I'll do this in the next episode. So hope you Romans enjoyed it. Click the like button underneath if you did. Subscribe to join the Roman army. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later, Romans. Wa later.